Hello friends, welcome to my channel Fusion Next Gen Learning. If you are first time viewer on my channel, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get latest update from Fusion Next Gen Learning. In today's demonstration, we are going to cover three requirements. Let's take an example. If business would like to see their OTBI analysis report to be available from the UI itself rather than navigating to the reports and analytics, how you can achieve this kind of requirement in Oracle Fusion. We will cover also how you can create new page, how you can associate that page to the navigator or make it available to the springboard UI as well as we will see that how you can associate your OTBI to those new page and access from the UI. So for the example I have created one category called the FuseNex and within that I have associated one page called Fuse Next. And if I click on the Fuse Next, if you see that within that page, I'm able to access the OTBI directly from the UI rather than navigating to the reports and analytics. How you can achieve this kind of requirement in Oracle Fusion, we will cover that. So for that, you need basically three tools and you need to have activated sandbox. So if you see that, I have already activated the sandbox and within the sandbox, I have chosen the three tools. One is structure, page integration, page composer. So page composer will help you to add the content to the page. Page integration will help you to create a page and a structure will help you to show that page or associate that page to the navigator or the springboard. UI. So first we'll choose the tool called page integration. And if you see that I have associated and created these pages. So what I will do, I will first delete these pages and will create from the scratch the new page. So let me delete that. So I have deleted that. Now I won't have any further page associated to the category. So now I will change the name, the category from Fuse Next to the, so let's take an example. We'll make supply chain, supply chain reports and analytics so once so this is what the category name so within that category i can associate n number of otbi dashboards analysis to the ui and i can create several tabs to it and associate different different otbi to it or the analysis so i will change the name so i did that change the name now i will associate and create new page within that category so let me click on the new page within the new page will associate one report or the analytics you can say that is inventory on it so we'll put that inventory on hand analysis now I have to choose the icon. So I will select some custom icon. So let's take example. We can choose any of the icon. So whatever you like, you can choose. Now the application role. So this application role will play very important role. So whatever role you are associating while creating the page, 
only those roles can access those new page nobody else can access those page so that is the control what we have it further you can also write an el expression to showcase or hide right based on the username based on the roles so further customization also you can do so for that already i did released couple of videos so you can watch that now application role so i have created from custom role so i will associate since that particular custom role already i have associated to my user so that i can access this new page from my login itself so let me search that application role so i have created this application role now the web page so web page to create blank page so i will type about colon blank so let me little bit zoom so this is what i have written without the space so same you have to type and once you done you have to simply click on the save and close so i have created one page so called inventory on hand analysis if you would like to create another page you can create so all pages will be available within the supply chain report and analytics and within that you can access all your reports in a single place so rather than you go here and there to search your reports it will be easily accessible from the ui itself so once you done that what you have to do you can click on the home page and after creation of the page you have to go to the tools and within the structure so within the structure you can also change the navigation to that page that that page can be accessible from the supply chain execution since it's already relevant to the supply chain area so all those things you can achieve via this structure tool so let me click on the structure tool and if you see that within the structure your new page will be available for you to access and based on that you can decide that this report which area you would like to be associate so if you see that we have already created one category called the supply chain reports and analytics and within that i will have one new page called inventory on hand analysis now if let's take a example if you want that page to be moved to another group let's take example this inventory on hand is belongs to supply chain if you want that this page can be accessible from the supply chain execution you can move it to the group called supply chain execution so that within the supply chain execution group you can see that at the bottom we have added this page called inventory on hand analysis now i will again move it to the original group that is our supply chain reports and analytics so that it makes sense for you to understand so now we have originally transferred it back to the within supply chain reports and analytics area and this is what the page if you click on that you can have the name you can change also the page name from here if you would like to whether you would like to show to the navigator you would like to show the springboard it has to be enabled for the mobile and these everything entire will be coming automatically you don't need to change over here simply save and close 
Now what you have to do? You have to last tool that is our tool name called the page composer. So we'll utilize the page composer. Before that, we will publish our sandbox and make that new page to be available to the UI. So let's publish the sandbox. And once we publish the sandbox, it will be available to the UI. For that, we will just log off and log in back in the system and we'll see that it will appear. Now I logged in back. If you see that the supply chain report reports and analytics as a category added and within that category i will be having the application the new page created called inventory on hand analysis if you click on that page you won't be able to see anything because we have selected as a blank now what we'll do we'll use our third tool to add our OTBI reports. So for that, if you see that, I have created another sandbox. So now this time, I will utilize the page composer. And for that, so I will just simply click on the added page. And if I click on the added page, you can see that it's ready to add the content so to add the content what i have to do if you see this is the web page so i want to add over here the web page and for that you can see that this is the edit icon so you have to click on the edit and within the edit you have an option the name so you can either enter the name same name different name you can add either you can use the same name so name is already appeared, so you don't need to add the name again. Otherwise, it will be again repeated. The sort description already added. Now source is about blank. So we are not going to again add the blank web page. Now we will link over here our OTBI report. So how generally it will be in the fusion system? So generally you have to add HTTPS then colon forward slash and you have the host and then you have the dot com and after that you have the analytics. So this is how generally when you open your OTBI it will start like this. So host dot com is your URL which you are using to log in system. So what you have to do, you have to entirely copy from the analytics onwards. So I'll show you that. So let's take example. I have opened the analytics report. And if you see that I have removed before the analytics, the host name, and what I will do, I will copy entirely the analytics. And after copy, I will go back. And what I will do, so I will put dot dot, then forward slash, then dot dot, and then forward slash. And I will paste the entire the URL, which I have copied from the analytics onwards. So if you see that, so I will remove one forward. So I have written. So if you see that dot dot forward slash dot dot forward slash and analytics and from the analytics I copied and now I have enabled the so component as yes. Now the style styles is also if you would like to, you know, some color, background color, the height, you can add all those things.
if you would like to otherwise you can just simply apply and click on ok once you're done if you see that my analytics got added and what I will do I will simply so you can see that there's a stretchable so you can stress that so that it will be visible properly from the UI so let me stretch little bit to fit to the web page let me fit till the end so that it will be easily viewable okay so now it's fit to the web page and now i can see that easily i can access this from the ui now since i have added what I will do, I will simply click on close and if I close that composer and I can see that easily I can access this report from this new page. If I go to the home page and I will go to the supply chain reports and analytics. If I click on the inventory on hand analysis now my reports is easily accessible i can just export do print do copy and easily do my analysis from the ui itself and to make it available you have to simply publish so that it will be available for that particular user so what i will do i will simply publish that and so i will do the publish now i did that publish and now it's available to my user since my user will have that custom role so i can access this from the ui so that's how you can add the page so what i will do since i have published that i will just log off and log in back and i'll show you now i logged off and logged in back since i published that sandbox so if you see that i can use i can navigate i can play around with the otbi report so it will be automatically and whatever i want i can do with this analysis so this is how you can add any kind of dashboards with having certain restriction in place based on your business uses you can create custom page you can associate to the home ui springboard ui as well as the navigator with having this tool thank you thank you for watching my channel fusion next gen learning keep subscribing keep watching happy learning